Road Blasters! That's a great video game title. Road Blasters, it just sounds cool and gets right to the point. Originally a 1987 arcade machine from Atari, this is the Sega Genesis release from 1991, which is basically Mad Max or the Road Warrior in video game form. You can do pretty much anything in this game, shoot things, crash things, blow your car up, die, regenerate, as long as you don't run out of fuel. Like the world depicted in Mad Max, human life is cheap. Fossil fuels that power a Ford Falcon, now that's precious. And awesome. I still want that car. I would take the 74 Ford Falcon from Mad Max over Kit from Knight Rider. You've got to figure after a while Kit would become annoying, but that Falcon continues to get cooler. Just like this game. I used to have this game back in the day, and when this copy arrived, donated by Jake in Southbury, Connecticut, a long way from Australia, I saw the label and was like, oh yeah, I remember this one. It's been a while, and it's just as much fun as I remember. Think Road Rash meets the worst driving game you've ever played, yet somehow it works. Partly because it's just cool, but also because it's a well-made arcade game with some real challenge. It's not much of a driving game, the driving characteristics are frankly terrible. But when you look beyond that and play it for what it is, it's a very cool arcade game. One of the standout features is that you can crash and die as many times as you want as long as you don't run out of fuel. But of course crashing, exploding, and dying will slow you down and reduce your fuel, so you don't want to do that. Is that the Tyrell Corporation in the distance? Screw this thing, get me a spinner. And while you can hold down the firing button and machine gun all of the enemies in front of you except for those metal cars out of Spy Hunter, that's really not ideal because you have a score multiplier when you actually hit targets that you're aiming for, but then you're more likely to run into things. It's got that perfect arcade balance of risk versus reward. And the controls are very tricky. They're not driving controls, it's not Road Rash. However, if you enjoy the Road Rash games, you'll probably enjoy this one. Road Rash is a, is a much better series of driving games, but Road Blasters is a better arcade game. And don't even think about comparing this game to OutRun. Completely different, even though they look somewhat similar and run smoothly on the Genesis. I've got to hand it to the developers that made this game. It works really well on the Genesis, it looks great. As you can see on screen here, this is a direct feed out of the S-Video modified Genesis. It's a beautiful game. And one that can be found extremely easily, easily, <laughs> One that can be found easily and affordably. I, I combined easily and affordably into easily. Well, that would simplify things. I'm just going to start saying that. You can find it on eBay easily. Oh hell, I may as well throw the eBay in there too. It can be found eBay as a blee. I exploded again, but it doesn't matter as long as I make it to the end without running out of fuel. Collecting the green and red orbs will increase your fuel. Shooting as many things as possible without missing will also earn you additional bonus fuel and score more points. While Road Blasters is a lot of fun, the game is surprisingly more challenging than it may initially appear. The first couple levels are super easy, but then it really hits you with a lot of bad guys, landmines, and the need to drive well in Road Blasters even though it's difficult to drive at all in this game. Another similarity that this game has with Spy Hunter is the periodic weapon upgrades, which actually do very little in helping you complete each level. There's a couple different ways that you can start each game. Rookie is, is by far the most approachable, and I'd recommend it for the most fun. You earn reserve fuel easily driving in the rookie levels, which you take with you to some of the harder levels where, where you'll really need it. Unlike a lot of driving games from the late 80s or early 90s, Road Blasters is still very playable because it's smooth and has predictable responsive controls. Although it's still not a great driving game.
Come to think of it, Road Blasters has more in common with Spy Hunter than other combat driving games like Road Rash. Sure, you rack up points for the distance, for blowing things up, but to really succeed, you've just got to avoid crashing into things. Forgo that temptation to shoot everything and watch the pretty explosions and just concentrate on what's in front of you and turn. Those are the rules to live by when playing Spy Hunter as well as Road Blasters on the Sega Genesis. This is also available on numerous other game consoles. So thanks again to Jake from Connecticut. Hopefully many of you will be eBay-isabling Road Blasters in the near future.